Hello! Welcome back to uh, Dev Game Club. No, no, this isn't Dev Game Club. I'm just doing a little uh, horror streaming today. Last year, last year, two years ago, I did a, a thing where I streamed, I wrote about streaming, screaming videos, which says, say, horror movies you could watch on uh, Netflix or whatever. Throughout the month of October, um, I'm not, I don't have the bandwidth to watch, to play games every day. Uh, at this point, at that time, I wasn't doing a lot of work, so I was kind of taking a little break. Uh, but now I'm working, so I'm I'm a little bit too busy to do uh, to do that sort of thing. But if you want to go look that up, it was a Tumblr. Uh, it was called Thirty One Nights Streaming Screaming. Tumblr. Com. That was fun to do. I think I watched thirty five movies. Um, anyway, so I thought for a few Tuesdays, maybe or maybe uh, Tuesdays or Thursdays, I might jump in and do. Some of Kitty Horror Show's games. Uh, I've been meaning to check these out for a while. I think I first heard about her um, through Offworld last year when uh, Laura Hudson, uh, maybe Lee, I think it was Lee Alexander actually wrote, wrote it up on, on Offworld. Um, might have been Laura though, I don't, I don't recall. I'll have to go look that up. So I'll know next time I'll be better prepared. Sorry if my face is a little blotchy in the camera, I have got a cold. My voice is a little nasally too so apologies all right so instead of uh, joining the horror that is the debates I'm going to play Kryza uh, or I'm sorry Churza C-H-Y-R-Z-A very atmospheric this is very bleak atmosphere love the audio too when I had my uh, just my subwoofers you know, through the headphones I don't hear the bass as much but it was shaking the room, and it has a really delightful bassy sound. So you can find these at uh, kittyhorrorshow.itch.io. I recommend them. I am uh, going to become a patron, though I haven't been yet. This is a weird. This is a weird environment. Is that the same one? Yes. Oh wow, interesting. Wide field of view. played this game before so it might be perfect for scares. I've heard her work described as being very um, unsettling rather than being about jump scares and things like that and this uh, this audio is definitely working on me. Um, I'm very susceptible to audio. We did not know from where the Black Pyramid had come, only that it radiated kept us warm without fire, gave us love without demand. Everyone in the village felt the voice of the pyramid, as if fluttering in their heart, softly at first, stronger each passing day, until it became a triumphant choir that filled us every moment. We paid no mind to the gentle stinging of our eyes, or the small blisters that would appear on the skin of our arms. These pains were unimportant. The song of the pyramid and rendered them so. Alright, that's terrible. <laughs> Movement is pretty quick. Unusually quick for a horror game. I guess this is the village, and oh, there's the pyramid. Let's check this thing out. Oh, I think maybe it has an entry. I'm gonna go check this out first. Maybe <laughs> hold the ground over here. This is terrifying. Uh, This audio really gets to me. Really gets to me. Can I jump? I can. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Weird. <laughs> wow, it's 
easy to lose your bearings. Oh, that's a good effect. Probably from dealing with the old. Oh, that's good. There's some texture here too. Nice. We spent months in the pyramid's great shadow. Not foraging or sculpting or scavenging as we always had. Simply basking in the warmth and comfort it gave us. Letting the skin peel on our arms and our legs. Smiling at the sky as we grew weak and complacent. We did not hunger, nor did we thirst. When the sun would set and the elders would light fires by which to see, I would hear them joking that the pyramid was like a new mother brought up from the sand to cradle us. These words unnerved me. My mother, my real mother, was always beside me. And her skin was peeling faster than theirs. I'm terrified somebody's going to walk up behind me and touch me. Now here while I'm walking over this long expanse, I was once playing the original Thief demo and I was so absorbed and so close to my screen. I was playing it and Darren Stinnett, who's the project leader, had headphones on just like now. And Darren Stinnett was the project leader on Starfighter and Jedi Starfighter and uh, ultimately the executive producer of Public Commando came up behind me he walked through my door, which I could literally see from my field of view if I'm not so absorbed in the monitor, and just grabbed my shoulders as I was playing Thief, and it was terrifying. <laughs> Six of us went to bed one night. When we woke the next morning, we were five. A new monument, stark and titanic, made from the same black stone which composed the pyramid had grown up from the desert floor. No one spoke at all that day. My mother's skin was crisp and red, and she no longer had the strength to walk. I brought her water and bread, and I could stand the pain in my eyes for long enough to see. Five of us went to bed that night. When we woke the next morning, we were four. really gets to me generally and of course I can't 
get quite that same experience. It's still working pretty well, but not as well as you know through my PC subwoofer. Or, you know, I have a subwoofer on my console setup upstairs, and that is pretty powerful. The one upstairs in particular can shake the house, um, much to the chagrin of my neighbors. Um, but uh, this is pretty. Uh, it's still pretty effective. The thing about having you know earbuds in is that I feel like my whole back is kind of prickling and you can sort of see what's in the camera that's all I can see as well and that's you know some kind of ill-defined shapes and even though I know what they look like in the light it is still creepy as hell and I think that's reinforced by this like shadowy construction of this environment oh it's really good genuinely creepy stuff wow it's good this is good I've waited too long to sample to sample these. Oh no, no, no! I missed. I was trying to jump on there. Platforming is not exceptional. Obviously, you can see a lot of jittering on the stairs, which is not great, but that's fine. These are lo fi games. It, it actually, that, that is also unsettling, but um, not necessarily in a helpful way. Alright, I'm gonna. I'll leave that thing be for a sec. I'll catch on the next go. See if I can do it this time. Oh, genuinely creepy though. I've got that over there. There's another thing. I don't know if I can jump and climb that. And of course, over there. What's really great is you, I mean, you instinctively know what to do too. I mean, you just, there's no directions. There's obvious big black points of interest and you start in the center of a point of interest and then there's these you know these little green points of interest that are also obvious you don't have to be taught anything very simple now i've kind of gone through a natural order because i find that pyramid so terrifying but you know it, it my mother and i woke on the penultimate morning to find that we were all and singing through the empty doors of our village. I asked her what the word oblation meant. Though she lacked strength, her head snapped toward me and she stared. Her eyes were yellow and roomy, but I could see her fear. She asked me where I had heard the word. In truth, I had not heard it at all. I had woken with it imprinted on the backs of my eyelids written on the walls of my veins, a sudden clandestine addition, like the bite of a nocturnal insect. I knew that the pyramid had put it there, as a warning, perhaps an edict. I never answered her, so she never answered me. They were the last words I ever heard my mother speak. The next morning she was gone, nothing left of her but a trail of dragging footprints in the sand leading to the pyramid's closed door. Oh my god. I don't know that I can do anything here. This place is such a ruin. sorts of things that still get to me. I mean, jump scares still work to me. It's purely on a um, physical level. I can't help but react to them. But they don't really fill me with dread. They just kind of give you that momentary shock of adrenaline, right? And that, you know, that has its own weird sensations, right? You get that sort of fight or flight to a degree or whatever. But oh, wow, the shadow scenes. But this is different. The constant low hum and this terror, like I want to touch this door. Uh. Yeah, this is. Uh. If there were a jump scare here, I think I would. 
I would probably have a little um, shorts problem. Nasaliness and feeling uh, the pain. Now I definitely am not meant to ascend, at least not there. And here. This is wild. Yeah, this is, it looks like obsidian. Yeah, I'm not meant to ascend. Do I miss something? spooked out. Like I'm getting that fancy feeling. Oh man, that's a tree from way up there. <laughs> Creepy. Even at this low fidelity, this stuff really works. Alright. Can't do anything here. Maybe I can hit enter. Keyboard. No. Alright, so at this point maybe a little lost. I've already been up there. Maybe there's something to do with that thing over, uh, over there. Yeah, this thing really is immense. underlying audio with this high heating. Audio really works on me. I think audio is the, the hidden element of horror, right? I mean, it's just, it works so well, you know. When I read horror, you know, it's often, you know, one of the great things is the descriptions of what things sound like, you know, whether it's something really gross and grotesque, like, you know, the wet slap of somebody's, you know, interior organs hitting the floor, some linoleum somewhere, you know, or the scritching and chittering of some insectoid thing outside. It's kind of shadows from the mountains. Kind of shadow that made me think that was me. It's all about the audio. It's all about telling what's going on in the senses. You know, This way, I might as well go this way. I can go back to that thing. Let's see if I can find my way up. <laughs> it floats in the sky. Oh, I totally have this edgy feeling like there's something behind me. I keep looking up at my screen up there. Whew. Distance like this can really work because, of course, it gives you time to think about what you've read or heard in this case. You know, having this sort of mundanity of just sort of going around in a space, you know, which we've done a thousand times, and then overlaying it with this good audio, and then, you know, these spooky thoughts like, where the hell did this thing come from? It's enormous. And then that wasn't built by any human being. Neither was that thing with the platform on a pinnacle. I mean, come on, like, wow, bizarre. What an excellent dream of a thing. Reminds me a little bit of um, a game uh, my buddy Cameron Kunzelman did with uh, with uh, what was his collaborator. It was a horror thing, and it had these sort of red tracing lines and things. It's very good. Um, the 
track that one down too. It's been it's been a few years since I played it. At least at least a couple. Um, and it was a lot like that one more so. Like an ellipsis, uh, which is this 2D side scrolling kind of thing. And the other one. Uh, the name of which also escaping me at the moment because I'm so on edge. I mean, I literally have this building chill in the back of my body. And that's not just because it's colder in my basement than the rest of the house. I feel like I should really get up there. I, I can't jump very far. Spacebar, I can get up there. Interesting. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I would never have thought to do something like that in a game. No instruction. Have the player figure it out. Like, this must mean something. You gotta figure it out. Wonderful piece of work. What a creative, beautiful thing this is. Ah. I spent what I knew was my final day walking to each of the black structures pressing my hands and lips against their cold stone, wishing them goodbye. They gave off no warmth, and there was nothing in their angles to tell me who they had been. I could not tell which one was my mother. The pyramid's incessant singing had clouded my memory. I was nearly blind from the pain in my eyes. I told each one that I loved them, and then I returned to the village to wait. sort of thing would give me a little bit of motion sickness, but not at all. This, this is good. Oh, there's another light there.
that's uh, Terza. That's uniquely terrifying. Oh my god, that's so good. Whew. That was so good. I wish I didn't have a cold and you could hear me without the nasaliness. That was so good. Wow. Oh, I'm going to look forward to all of these. I can tell. That was excellent. All right, well, that is it for me for tonight. Um, I will uh, I'll see you Thursday or uh, possibly next Tuesday. I'm not sure what the schedule is going to be to do these. There are a bunch, and I have to sort of figure out which ones uh, run and, you know, what the experiences are meant to be. I only booted this one up, and it worked, and just jumped in and, and did it cold. Some of the other ones look a little bit more challenging. Um, one of the things I really liked uh, about this was it came with a um, it came with a uh, a warning which said uh, let's see okay, maybe you can see this yeah um, it says is there a way to uh, yeah, let's increase the size here a little bit for you all right it says warning do not play before reading this application is only meant to be downloaded willingly if for any reason you have come upon this application on your personal computer without awareness as to its origins or if you have no recollection of having downloaded it do not run the application in the event that you run the application despite having no awareness of its acquisition immediately delete the application from your personal computer immediately leave your house and begin walking due south while repeating one of your secret words of warding in your thoughts Continue walking in this fashion until you encounter a naturally occurring sanctuary glyph that you recognize. If approached by anyone in this time, do not engage with the approacher. Touch or stand atop a sanctuary glyph for a period of no less than seven minutes. And you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do uh, now. Go stand on a glyph and whisper to myself my uh, secret word of warning so that I may uh, have a chance of sleeping tonight. So that's it for me for tonight. Uh, good night, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.